I'm not even sure. I should have looked at my video from the other day to see if I had this nightgown on. Um, well, that was yesterday. And honestly, you guys, I have not washed in a day. Like, I have not taken a shower at all. And I need to, you know, definitely go ahead and take myself a shower today. I mean, without a doubt. Um, but... You guys, yesterday, it was like I literally walked through hell. Like, I walked through hell and during, you know, like, the way they greet you there, it's like they have bats and batons and clubs and they just, they greet you with that stuff because it was like my body, I don't know, it was so weird. Like, I've had pneumonia, bronchitis, the flu, I've had all that stuff before, and I think I've mentioned that to you guys, and when I tell you, whatever this is that I'm going through, because I'm not calling it that thing, I'm not, I'm just not gonna say that, that's, this is what it is, because I have not been tested, all I know is that I'm just sick right now, and a lot of times, like, when the season change, I do, you know, get, like, a seasonal cold or whatever like that of course it's never been this bad and I'm gonna say with the pneumonia it was really really bad and like I I think I mentioned before like literally I had to pray every night that I made it to the next day but I was still able to get up and I was still able to you know go to work but I think that was more like a mental thing because um you know, with pneumonia, you don't really look at it as a transferable disease in the, I mean, virus in the way that you think of this other thing. And so I think more or less because I'm not sure of what is going on with me, I don't want to go to work and possibly transmit whatever to someone else. So I think it's more, probably more of a mental thing. But I will say um, I had a sore throat for six days in day four, five, and six. I was just like, no, like, just let me go. Like, I'm ready just to go home because I don't, I can't. I didn't think that I was going to be able to, you know, deal with like another day of that sore throat. And then amazingly on Friday, the sore throat, it went away. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday and the sore throat, it went away but there's still like at times where I can feel it trying to like resurface but I'm doing like everything in my powers to like stop that from happening but um last night which is Friday the sore throat went away and I thought okay well you know I'm fine now and then the the fever came and that fever, like I said, it was literally, I mean, in my opinion, like, if you had to walk through hell, that's pretty much what I felt like I was doing last night. And I didn't, you know, let, of course, my daughter know, they were know. I didn't say anything to Dimitri, because Dimitri, he came in late, and he left back out really early in the morning, so he had no clue of what I was going through. But, and plus, I don't like to worry people, like, when I'm sick. If I'm sick, I just want to be sick. And I don't want to, like, worry anyone about me being sick. Um, I did go ahead and I took um, in a leave. But I took that and it probably helped 25% because I only took one. I only wanted to take one because I didn't really want to take too much. Um, because I was afraid or I have been afraid that possibly I'm going to like um have an adverse effect from them so i'm really trying not to take too much medication everything i'm doing i'm just trying to do naturally like i've been i've realized that i had some tea um and the tea was um i'm gonna show you guys today i'll post a picture of the teas that um i've been drinking and recently i've been doing well for the fever i did some um what is the thing called some ginger i just did ginger water i didn't put any honey or anything i just did straight ginger and i mean it really didn't do anything to like lessen it but maybe it helped to 
contain it like because I don't have a fever like I don't feel feverish I still feel warm in the morning I felt warm when I woke up but I was very cold like I was like really really freaking freezing but I was warm and so but like right now I have like severe muscle ache pain like I'm in such like agony especially in my lower abdominal because before I got sick I was I already had my menstrual and really I was getting sick way before I started um feeling the the, the sore throat and so now my menstrual has been going on for almost two weeks if not two weeks and so I was constantly still menstruating um even almost um or two weeks later and so that is something I found like really interesting but um what I will say is that I woke up this morning and I just had to laugh at like this whole situation like seriously because you know <laughs> I really didn't think that I would be here able to talk yeah I just didn't I just I didn't think I was gonna be here I mean very honest like I was just like this is gonna be it and so just when I thought that the worst was the worst then it got even worse and then now I'm just like okay so what now because that's what I'm waiting for I'm waiting for like the next thing to happen to me because I just and then I'm just thinking to myself like it can't be a next thing to happen to me because I don't think like I've been like praying I've been saying like words of affirmation you know and it's just like okay I'm doing all that and I'm getting through but it's like no I can't have anything next because right now I'm just like in so much pain but I'm still able to get up like right now I'm up so I'm still able to get up I'm making soup right now I try to wipe down you know some things in the house because Zayla's still here Demetri is still here and I really wish Zayla would have stayed at her dad's house but right now she seems to be fine and you know she's 17 and I'm not saying because of her age or anything like that but for the most part she's been pretty healthy and so you know God willing even if you know if she had it or she gets it or whatever that she'll be able to fight it you know and then now that I, I don't I'm not I'm not I'm, what I'm saying is that whatever sickness because you know like even colds and everything we transfer things like that and so whatever it is hopefully you know she um, gets through it and you know the same thing of course you know for Dimitri and you know even if they do then I will you know hopefully I recover and I'm well and I'll be able to you know assist them and you know basically do the things that I did for myself I would you know do for them and so but yeah so today is Saturday you guys right now I'm just having um, like I said a lot of body aches or whatever at one point I didn't think I was gonna be able to get out of the bed but I'm just gonna listen that I'm like no, we're not I don't I don't mentally give into anything like I just cannot do that and that is one of the best things that you can do for yourself is to mentally tell the rest of your body let's go we're gonna fight this we're stronger you know and I know that can't be said for everyone you know, it cannot be said for everyone, but, you know, for those of you who don't have, you know, any, like, you know, like, just mentally tell yourself everything's going to be okay, and, you know, that's, you know, not all I can tell you guys right now, of course, you know, if anything else develops, um, you know, with this thing, um, after I make this video, then I will definitely let you guys know. I have started doing some sneezing right now, which I just really feel like because my nose is running, which is a good thing. Um, you know, I'm starting to get a lot of the um, mucus coming from my nose instead of my chest because before, you know, a lot of the pressure, I had a lot of pressure on my chest, and I just right here, there was a lot of. Um, irritation like in this area right here like if I had something that just lodged or stuck there and yeah but you know truthfully I feel you know spectacular far as you know my mental like I feel happy you know about being able to go through and get through what I've gone through because 
even though the way I'm saying it right now, truthfully, I just didn't think that I would, like, I'm going to make it through this right now. And I don't want to speak too soon because a lot of times we get better or we feel better and then we take our turn for the worst. So right now I'm sipping on honey and ginger. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get myself some rest because I feel like I need rest. And that's one thing that I have not been trying to do because I um, seen this other guy and he was speaking about like when he would lay down it would feel good but his throat was like <clears throat> basically it was crystallizing so all of that kind of like got in my head and kind of scared me and not really scared me but it just um, made me like aware of what maybe not to do but because I had the fever, you know, with fever you really should rest and um, as much as you can, of course, drink as much fluids as you can. I keep water by my bed. I've been keeping water by my bed now for probably like the last five years um, because I just feel like sometimes in the middle of the night, if I'm feeling like my throat is dry or whatever the situation is, um, I feel like it's very helpful and when I got the pneumonia it was very helpful and I think at that time that's when I really started to keep the water by my bed um, because sometimes I feel like that could be the difference between life and death I mean in my opinion because you know water does provide oxygen and different things like that and so but anyway you guys so I know everybody keeps stressing this, you know, stay home, stay home, stay home, but I think it's more than even just stay home. I just really, you know, have to, really have to, you know, just be mindful of everything around you. Don't let yourself freak out about things, though, you know, just, um, you be mindful, but don't be overly, um, mindful because then that can lead to stress that can lead to depression that can lead to anxiety that can lead to um a panic attack which i did have a panic attack um earlier in the week i woke up and literally could not breathe but i had to go to the emergency room and it was the scariest thing i had ever experienced um in my life <laughs> i know there's a lot of times where i just you know i'm not easily freaked out by certain things but that yeah lately i've been getting freaked out and i don't know but anyway just take care of yourself and be safe you guys like seriously that's all i can tell you all so but i will keep you guys updated all right all right love you guys